Oh no. The Astro Bears have taken over. I'm in prison right now. I guess I'll just sit here until they call me to compete in their stupid race. Thanks for busting me out of there, Sam. Oh. Hey, no problem, man. Listen, I owe you one after you took me in last Christmas. I, I finally had a family again. I, I couldn't bear to lose that. Oh, and also you're kind of the key to saving the world. Wait, what do you mean, key to saving the world? Well, while you were gone, I managed to steal super secret military data plans from the Astro Bears. Luckily for us, they encoded it in the form of a Nintendo Switch game. So I thought maybe you could play the game on your channel and leak the data to the public. After that, it would be for the Astro Bears. And you couldn't do that yourself? Well, one, I didn't have the password to your YouTube account. Two, I don't know how to edit. And three, are you really complaining after I just saved your butt from prison? Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I can do it. Let's drive those Astro Bears off our planet once and for all and save the world. All the way back in September of 2017, a little game called Astro Bears Party was released by Cubic Games on a Nintendo Switch eShop. I made a video on it earlier this year, which was actually how this whole invasion fiasco got started, so I'd highly recommend watching that video first if you haven't already, as it goes more in-depth from the core gameplay. But to sum it up, it's a game where space bears run around on a planetoid and try and kill each other with lasers that come out of their backs. It was a fun multiplayer party game and I enjoyed it, however it was clear the game could use a bit more work. Then, after almost two years of nothing from the game, developers released a new game entitled Astro Bears on July 19th, 2019 on the Nintendo Switch eShop for $6.99. Astro Bears acts as mainly an updated version of Astro Bears Party with more content. However, it was released as a separate download from the original. However, owners of the original are able to get this one for free, making it still kind of an update, but not an update. With that out of the way, let's see what's new the game has to offer that wasn't in the original. When booting up the new Astro Bears, you are welcomed by a brand new CGI opening cutscene that depicts a slice of the wacky fun experiences you're about to be in for. Personally, I really like this as it adds a higher sense of production value that the original sort of lacked, and I just find it fun to watch. After that's over, you're taken straight to the redesigned home menu. I have to be honest, I don't like this as much as the first one. The original just had a lot more charm to it with the pictures of the Astro Bears representing the mode you were hovering over on the side. This is just text on a background. While it is arguably more simple and straightforward, and some may appreciate it for that, I vastly prefer the old one. The submenus are mostly the same with some slight UI improvements, and most of the UI overall has been upgraded to look better than just text in June Goal font appearing on the screen every so often. The game also added in bear puns whenever a round is finished, which I find cute and funny. Those are most of the UI changes, so if that out of the way, let's go through the more major gameplay changes. Party mode remains mostly the same, with the option now available to make your laser ribbons either infinite or finite, as well as able to change the color of your planetoid, which I dig, since having only one color got kind of stale after a while in the original. Next up, there's a new competitive mode. This is sort of a best out of free games version of party mode, but with randomized settings. It's a fun mode that adds a nice bit of variety to the game, but overall feels like an extra option for party, rather than its own new thing. Jetfish hunting is still mostly the same as before. They did add the option to do two-player co-op on it, but it isn't really that fun in my opinion, which means this is still the worst mode in the game. Now onto the biggest addition to the game that I haven't talked about yet. More Astro Bears to play as. The original's cast consisting of Neil, Igor, Zioli, and Bishnu are all back, but joined by four new ones, Wajtek, Cybear, Aki, and Randy. Their designs are a big improvement from the original four, in my opinion, and have some nice little gimmicks that make them unique. Wajtek is a veteran Astro Bear soldier, Cyber is a cyborg with a suit of armor that gives him an extra life, Aki is a cosplayer, and Randy has randomly generated stats. I adore these guys, and overall, I'd say they're the highlight of the update. 
And that pretty much sums up what new stuff Astro Bears has to offer. It's mostly just the original, but updated. While I welcome the new improvements, I can't help but feel slightly disappointed that this is all we got after waiting for over a year. I'd still recommend this to anybody that hasn't already played Astro Bears Party already, as it's a great little multiplayer party game. And as for Astro Bears series veterans like myself, while this may not be a huge improvement, I'd still upgrade anyway, since it's free for people who own the first one, and it will be the definitive way to play the game going forward. Now that you've heard all that, feel free to start liberating the planet from these tyrants. And that is how you destroy an alien civilization. Cool stuff, man. Now we just wait for the public to revolt, and then the world's saved. And now, on to our next story of the morning, here on Channel 97 News. Following a major data leak of Astro Bear's secrets from YouTuber The Mind of Thomas, the public joined forces and successfully drove the Astro Bears off the planet. While some traces of illegal Astro Bear technology still remain and have possibly been sold on the black market, we can all celebrate the fact that the Earth has been saved and we are free from the tyranny of the Astro Bears. This is Channel 97, signing out.